hi guys so it's been a long time i have not prepared any video and i have seen a lot of requests that i did before one playlist series where i have overridden the feature of alert box so based on the feedback from some of the developers i am going to extend this feature to have some buttons inside the alert box so that based on the user whether they are pressing ok button or cancel button a certain operation can be initiated so if you are not familiar with what we have done in an overridden of alert box i would recommend that if you go into my facebook channel inside the file section you can download the override alert default box so once you have downloaded the code you can uh, go ahead and look into this video series of how to extend the buttons feature over the alert box so to start with let me just open those files that we have done before so if I go into my index.html file and open it into my google chrome browser this is the alert feature now we want to have two buttons with name ok and cancel and when user press on any one of the button a certain operation needs to be performed so let me start how we are going to do it so once you download those code uh, so this is the code that I have not modified I will show you step by step how you are going to implement this so let's start with the JavaScript so first of all in our alert box you could see that there is one dev with the name subscribe and whatever the alert and the message is coming up so it is just appending to the subscribe dev element so this is the dev element where the text would be rendered so now what I am doing I am checking two more parameters that needs to be passed by the user so ok button and cancel button are the two parameters that are passed to the function now I have created one variable with the name button now if ok button if suppose I have not passed any parameter next to the data then it would be undefined so if it is undefined not equal to undefined then I am defining some HTML element which describes the button layout similarly doing for the cancel button if it is having some parameter then it will uh, have this HTML markup lastly what I am doing is along with the text I am rendering the button now if, if these parameters are not passed that means that the button would be empty if any one of these parameters would be passed based on uh, this the button markup would be created now after doing this if I now you can see that in my button markup there is one more javascript event that is on click on click is equal to ok button so what i am doing i have defined some functions before so i have defined some functions that is confirm ok and close color box 
so close color box is what when the pop-up comes and the user press cancel the color box plugin or the pop-up plugin would be hidden so it will not show up now in confirm ok what I am doing I am passing two more parameters this ID and text so let me just give it uh, what ID and text mean so if I copy this HTML markup and if I paste it here you could see that there is one ID with the name text update and it stays before color box open so now what I am doing this ID is same as this div and text is the dynamic text that you want to enter into this div markup so that is what I am doing I am targeting the element with the name ID and whatever text you have passed it will be overridden with this content in the div because we are targeting the specific div which is text update so let me now just show you now we have only this I have not defined OK button and cancel button so I don't have any parameter right so let me just save this file and if I open this so nothing is appearing no buttons are appearing right because these two are not defined this is coming because we have not hidden the element uh, so that is why it's coming uh, so that's not a problem so now once I define those parameters if I save this file you can see that like confirm ok so this is same as this function right because on click we are putting this ok button so this name is same to us same uh, this these two names are same then ID is text update so this is the top dev which I define which is text update and the dynamic text that I have put so that in this div it would be shown so this before color box open would be removed with this content and then I have not defined the cancel button right because this the first parameter is related to data parameter and the next parameter is defined to ok button and for cancel button I have not defined any so in cancel button what I can do since close color box does not have any parameter so I can put comma and then I can call this function directly so if I save this file and now you can see that if I refresh this page we have two buttons ok and cancel which was not earlier so if I click on cancel button it should hide the color box so it is hiding the color box now if I refresh this sorry you can see that now if it is before color box open the text of the div, div is before color box open so if I now press ok you could see that the color box gone uh, is hidden over the page and the text is also changed that is after color closing the color box so this is how you create the ok and cancel button now since you have function you can do api calls here you can manipulate some dom elements here and whatever things you can do via javascript so this was it hope this makes clear about how to have an event kind of a alert box if you have any query just comment it out or post it inside facebook channel so that i can look into it and if it is not clear i can clarify it Thank you very much guys for listening it. Hope you have a great day. Bye.